how strong is Lucy? Now, without a doubt, Lucy is definitely one of the best characters in the story when it comes to development, character strength, and everything all around. She's just all around one of the greatest characters from start to finish, simply because the story started out and we know that she was kind. I don't want to say she was helpless, but she was just doing little quests here and there to get some money. You know, she was just living a normal life. And to see someone like that come all the way, come how far she has now, that's incredible. Now, what do I mean by that? Not only with character development, because we know that her character, it's just phenomenal. She started out as the weak, you know, typical shonen girl. We had to protect her, the maiden. Natsu would usually save her all the time. And don't get me wrong, Natsu does still save her sometimes, simply because she's she's been put into battles like with Jackal or Hades, you know, whereas, you know, damn well, she's not going to beat her. But the, pre the old Lucy, the first Lucy that we saw, she wouldn't have been able to hold her own against people like Flair, you could say. Or even people like I guess you could say even uh, during the Tartarus arc where she used Aquarius. So we know that Lucy she's able to hold her own now, and she's actually become her own independent character. She doesn't have to rely on everybody saving her over and over. But this got me thinking. Even though Lucy has developed so much in terms of her character wise and battle wise, where does she rank currently in strength amongst the people in Fairy Tale? Now I'm not talking about the Fairy Tale Guild uh, specifically because we know that if we're just talking about the Fairy Tale Guild she's top tier because uh, let's be honest some of the like 99 percent of the fairy tale guild are fodder we know you have your typical people like natsu gray urza juvia elf man lisana mir jane laxis like we have those people but then there's like a other 90 percent that's fodder so i'm not talking about just fairy tale i'm talking about in the series as a whole now to be honest i do not think that she's on par with the main cast of fairy tale i mean that's obvious she's not up there with the natsu with the gray with the urza you know i'm not saying that at all but i do think that when it comes to her strength she's somewhere i i will put her above wendy and i will put her in the middle of the whole natsu so i think that if we're talking like the main character wise out of the natsu the gray urza lucy and wendy i think she'll be fourth but if we're talking about the series overall where we're putting in people like acnologia yes zareph august irene that she obviously isn't as she's nowhere near them even not of them aren't nowhere near them so there's no way she'll be there but when it comes to the high tier it is going to be that i'm, I'm going to make a little ranking there's the high high tier which acnologia uh, i don't even know if you could put zara for them to be honest there's the acnologia tier then there's the high high tier then there's the high mid tier and then there's a the low high tier now i think that lucy she's high tier now to be honest because she mass she pretty much mastered her uh her little celestial key she's able to use star dressing now so she's definitely up there but when it comes to the tier, I would have to put her maybe, I would like to put her mid, -lead, mid high tier, but I can see her going um, low high tier simply because I would put her in the rankings with someone like uh, possibly Mir Jane, possibly even Lisana, well, not even Lisana, but like you could put her up there with Mir Jane because I don't think that Mir Jane, she's done that much training. And I think that Lucy, it's safe to say that she's caught up to her. But overall, how strong do you guys think that Lucy is? Comment what you guys think down below. Subscribe if you haven't. Peace out.